Selecting the Paint Bucket tool will open the Materials Browser. This allows you to pick and edit materials that you can paint into your scene. Simply pick a material and click on surfaces in your scene to paint them. You can also select multiple surfaces to paint them all at once. The Materials Browser itself is different for Windows and Mac users, so let's take a quick moment to examine the basics of each. On Windows, the browser has two main tabs to select and edit materials. Using the Select tab, you can scroll through various material libraries that come with SketchUp. Choose a library, then click on the material you'd like to paint, and paint it into your scene. You can examine all the materials that are in your scene by clicking on the house icon. Select one of the materials in the scene, and then click on the Edit tab. Here, you can change the color of the material, the opacity, texture image, and other settings as well. Notice that as you make changes to a material, these changes are seen in real time in your model. On a Mac, you have several tabs giving you different ways to pick colors to paint into your model. Select the brick icon to get access to the different material libraries. Cycle through the libraries to pick materials and paint them into your scene. To see what materials are currently in your scene, click on the house icon. To edit a material, double click on it. This expands the browser and lets you edit the material, including the opacity, with this slider. To change the color, choose one of the color tabs and make the adjustment there. We'll cover these material browsers in more depth in other videos. For now, let's look at a few options when you're painting material into your scene. You can use modifier keys to speed up the painting process as you explore different material options. There are a number of faces painted with the same material, but they are separated around the model. Holding the shift key down while painting a new material will replace all of the previous material, regardless of where it is in the scene. Now let's try the same exercise, but this time hold the control key or option key on a Mac. This results in replacing the material that is touching in the model. Because these surfaces were not touching the previous material, they were not painted. Let's reset the scene and try once again. Notice that although not all of this material is touching, it is all part of geometry that is joined together. This time, hold both the Shift key and Control key together or shift and option key on a Mac. This will paint all similar material on geometry that is joined. So to review, holding the shift key while painting will replace that material everywhere in the scene, regardless of material or geometry adjacency. Holding the control key or option key on a Mac relies on material adjacency. And holding the shift and control or option key together relies on geometry adjacency. The final modifier key is the Alt key or Apple key on a Mac. Press this key to sample existing material.